What's your name and uh, where are you from? I'm Rocky Lipold. I'm from Springfield, Missouri. All right. And you're in the military as well, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm full-time military. Okay. And I work out of Columbia, Missouri. Fantastic. Okay, well, how'd you get started or interested in gunsmithing? You know, it's something I wanted to do for years and yet didn't have the time to take time to go to a formal school. I looked at a couple that were full-time, mm -hmm. couldn't do it, like guns all my life, and ask around and heard you guys had the best one going. Well, what do you know now about firearms design, function, and repair that you didn't know before? Well, and right now I'm still just on the pistol section. Uh -huh. um, thought I knew pistols real well. Found out I didn't know about a fourth of what I thought I knew, if even <laughs> that much. Uh, so I've been I've been real happy with it. I took the Army's Armors course. Of course, it's specific to the at that time, the 1911 and then the Beretta. Mm -hmm. So I've learned a lot about the single action, double action stuff that you don't see in the military. Fantastic. Okay. Um, do you have plans to get into gunsmithing uh, at some point in time? Or um, Got four to five more years in the military. Uh, mm -hmm. Thought about starting kind of my business while I'm in the military once I complete the course mm -hmm. and then doing that full time when I retire. Okay. Rocky, what is it you like best about the professional gunsmithing course? Uh, you know, the part I like the best is instead of having an instructor, with the course I can go back and rehear something or rewatch it and get it sunk into my brain. Sometimes I don't pick it up the first time. This way I don't feel embarrassed by holding my hand up or something like that. I just hit the rewind button, rewind it a little bit, replay it until mm -hmm. I get it. What do you think about Bob's teaching method? It's real direct and real straightforward. Um, I found occasionally that he puts it forth so plain that I actually am looking for something tougher, and it's really not. And when you go back and play it that second time like I talked about, it's real straightforward. So you're able to, able to grasp it and, uh, and apply it. Oh yeah, it, it's real easy. As a matter of fact, most of the weapons I either have at home or have borrowed and worked with the, the CD, and it's great. So have you repaired some guns that maybe you hadn't seen previously? Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, we, I used to work at a shotgun range, and shotguns didn't bother me at all. Uh, wouldn't hardly touch a handgun. And now then, I really don't have any problem with it at all. That's it. Awesome. If somebody was thinking about getting the AGI gunsmithing course but hadn't quite made up their mind yet, what would you tell them? You know... I put it off for about two years, uh, cost-wise. Get it. It'll save you money. It'll save you time, and it it'll make you confident in what you're doing. All right. So you think in a couple of years you're probably going to be able to retire and open up a gunsmithing shop? Oh yeah, that's my whole business. I mean, uh, been in the range business, and we own a few ranges right now. And my brother's running them, and we've never been able to find a competent gunsmith or one that we want or mm -hmm. like, and so. That I'll go to work there and be a gunsmith. All right, so you're going to be that competent gunsmith thanks to AGI. Oh, most certainly.